Assalamu alaikum, hope you are doing well. Well, it has been a few weeks, I didn't post anything, and today we are going to talk about writing style. It's the same problem that all students have, how can I improve my writing skills? Now today I'm going to talk about one particular topic, is really how can you deal with any subject? You see that most of the time when people write or students write, you feel that they, they start, their style is kind of fixed. And what I want you really to do, I want, I want you to, okay, let me get this out. I want you to think about your subject or whatever you want to talk about as a picture, as a big picture. And you are a photographer. And if you are a photographer, you know that you have lenses. You sometimes need to take what are called uh, a wide lens, and sometimes you need to take like what are called a very focused lens to take a narrow perspective. The same thing when it comes to writing. And here I'm going to give you examples from didactics. Let's say, for example, I want to talk about didactics, and I want to talk about language teaching, and I want to talk about theories. The first thing, I, if I want to do, let's say, for example, I want to start from a very narrow perspective. I take a very narrow lens, or as we say, we can take a very micro perspective to the matter. We will talk about the classroom, what happens inside the classroom. Most of the time here we're talking about techniques, maybe we'll talk about techniques of assessment, maybe we are even talking about students' interaction, time management, etc. So all these are in the micro level, so at least they are in the in the neuro perspective. Try to get a bit far and try to look at the bigger picture now and we may get out of the class and we find methods. Usually methods are exhibited or manifested in the teacher's lessons plan. So because the way the, the teacher thinks about language teaching is going to be manifested in lesson plan. And a lesson plan is the one that's going to link between the approach and the technique. So it's kind of method in between. Then you go a bit farther, then you talk about the approach. That's the theories. These are the beliefs that drive our understanding, let's say, for language teaching or all what happens. It's still here. We, maybe you think that, okay, I have switched to a macro perspective. Trust me, still we didn't. Because after the appro after approaches, we're talking about the curriculum. Curriculum here is going to link decision-making or decision-making. We're talking about society. We're talking about future perspective, what they want these students to do. It has to do with politics, etc. You see, so now we have moved from that narrow perspective. But even here, the, the picture doesn't stop. We still have other vision, uh, other way of to look at it. For example, try to move from education, you go to the socio-economic socio -economic perspective. And here you are going to link the society itself. What does the society need in this case? What are the vision of the leaders in that society? Of course, it's still like the curriculum, but here no, because I have the privilege to teach socio-didactics, socio-didactic, and in this we talk about why we really need education in our society. And even if you think that this is just the like the macro level, no, it's not. You can give, you can go even further to kind of a historical level. For example, you talk about ages in education. You see, in education, you can talk about four ages. You can talk about age one. You can talk about. Uh, if we can talk, let me, I have prepared my note. We can talk about agriculture age. In this case, of course, we are going to teach us very practical skills. And usually here we don't have any kind of formal schooling. That's way in the past. So kind of the knowledge is passed verbally from one person to another. Then you go to the industrial age. Industrial age where we have like standardization. You have like this, uh, the focus on punctuality. And of course we have curriculum and etc. Then there is the move to information age. Critical thinking, access to knowledge, really all the things that most students have studied. And now we are talking about an AI age. In AI age, we have, as you know, I have asked this question, things have changed. Like compute, we have like technologies now are so advancing that are creating content for us. So all these can be also reflected. Now I talked about the lenses. 
But of course, as a photographer, you can zoom in and zoom out. And that's zoom in and zoom out. That's going to give you dynamic in talking about any topic. This is a kind of a short video to talk about this video. Please tell me what do you think about this. I try in further videos to really give kind of examples on it, although I have tried here to do so. So thank you so much and see you inshallah in my next video.